It could be that Didier Deschamps hopes to do as a manager what he did as a player, winning the European Championships with Panache a few years after winning the World Cup with an effective but not especially thrilling team. That at least is one explanation for the decision to recall Karim Benzema after five years of international exile. That was an uncharacteristically radical move by Deschamps, wiping away all that bad blood as if it was just a drop of spilled wine. On the other hand, maybe it was another demonstration of Deschamps' pragmatism. Maybe he feels he needs to increase France's already formidable firepower because of doubts about the security of their defence. Goalkeeper Hugo Lloris is on the wane. Central defender Raphael Varane needs a solid partner. That was Samuel Umtiti at the World Cup, but he's not there now. President Kimpembe did a sound job there in recent years, but has been wayward towards the end of this season with Paris Saint-Germain. Other options include Clément Longley, calamitous at times for Barcelona this season, Kurt Zouma, so-so with Chelsea, and Jules Koundé, highly promising, had a terrific season with Sevilla, but is inexperienced and was expected to go to the under-21 Euros before being surprisingly called up. So maybe Deschamps, conservative by instinct, is going to put the emphasis on attack, deploying Karim Benzema with Kylian Mbappe, Antoine Griezmann, Kingsley Coman, or any other of the super attackers that they have in their squad. With midfielders such as N'Golo Conte and Paul Pogba supplying the ammunition, Les Bleus really could blast their way to glory. But look at the group they start in. They begin by playing Germany in Munich, then face Hungary in Budapest. They conclude their group campaign against Portugal, the reigning European champions. France can do a lot of things. You can see what are favourites, but they're not unbeatable.